Welcome back to our YouTube channel. So today we are looking at sound waves. Remember, we are talking of different types of uh, waves where we looked previously on um, transverse waves. So we are saying um, sound waves, these are longitudinal waves that result from the vibration of objects. Longitudinal waves require a medium, e.g. stool, wood, water, or any material. They cannot be transmitted through space, meaning they need a medium to travel through. The speed of sound is measured in decibels, which is dB. Sound moves faster in solids than in liquids and also faster in liquids than in gases. So here we are looking at the three states of matter, their properties, what allows um, uh, them to, uh, to make a sound move faster or slower in them. So sounds, solids have higher density, meaning particles are closer together. So the speed of sound depends on the density of, of the object. So the speed of sound depends also on the temperature. The higher the temperature, the faster the, the speed. Humidity also affects how, tra how sound travels. So sound travels faster when humidity increases. Then changes in pressure does not change the speed, whether it's high or low. Now let's look at this diagram. This diagram shows uh, a difference between the movement of sound waves and transverse. This is uh, this one represents a sound uh, uh, waves. So we have what we call refractions and uh, compressions. So here, if you look at this diagram, we've got where particles are uh, far away from each other, then particles where they are dense, where they are close to each other. So a compression is saying it's a region of high pressure and the particles are closer together. So this is the particles where we find the compression of our wave. Then refraction is a region of low pressure and the particles are far away from each other. So from here, if you look at this, this, this part, this uh, refraction. Now, if you want to find the wavelength of this, you look from one compression to another or one wavelength, uh, one uh, refraction, to another to represent what we call a wavelength okay and then now let's look at an example the distance of five consecutive compressions of a longitudinal wave is 200 millimeters so we're saying five consecutive compressions they are covering a distance of 200 millimeters but one compression covers a distance of 350 millimeters in two seconds so it says calculate the speed the wavelength and the frequency of the wave so this are uh, the question that you want to look at so let's look at the solutions how do we find speed that's the first question so v is because we don't know v that is the speed that we are looking for but the distance that we have been given is 350 millimeters that is covering uh one compression in two seconds which is 0 0.3555 by a thousand so we're using this formula v is equals to this distance of a change in speed is 0 0.35 over 2, our answer becomes 0 0.175 meters per second. Number 2, it was saying, um, what is the way, what is the size of the wavelength? So we're saying the distance between five consecutive compressions represents four wavelengths. So if you want to check, you can use a diagram where you draw and check the distance that you have, the, the number of wavelength that we have. We have got four uh, wavelength that are covering a distance of 2 million, 200 millimeters, which is 0, 0,2. So we divide that one by 4 to get the distance of one wavelength for you to be able to calculate the speed, the, the, the speed of what? Of the wavelength also. So we are having we have got V, which is 0, 0,175 that we are being given. We have the frequency. Here yeah, we're looking for the frequency. We don't know the frequency on number three, but we have got the size of the well, of the wave, which is 0 0.05. So here we're saying our f that we don't know is equal to v over wavelength is 0 0.175 meters per second over 0 0.05 to give us our frequency is 0 0.5 hertz. Now, the last uh, example it says um. A sun vibrates at a frequency of 512. The speed of sound is uh, 340 meters per second. What is the wavelength? So here, our frequency is 512. That's our frequency. And we use a small letter F. So here, so our V, we're given 340. We don't know the wavelength. Then the the wavelength the size of 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 the wave so we check there is i saying 340 meters 
divided by 512 um, hertz. Which is going to give us if we divide that one let's check we're saying uh 340 divided by 512 is going to give us 0 comma 66 six, 0 comma 66 six, um Meter. So the size of the wavelength is 0 0.66 meters. So yeah, if you check this, I've put this triangle system where we are saying V is equal to frequency times wavelength. Let's say we are looking for wavelength. Remember, if we cover this, saying V is equal to V over uh, F. If you want frequency, it's V over wavelength. If you want uh, uh, V, it's frequency times wavelength. You can be able to use that also.